Two weeks after a Richmond homeowner's porch was hit for the third time, the city finds a temporary solution. Thanks for joining us for 8 News at 11. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson joins us live from that home. Roland, is this going to finally slow those drivers down? Well, Eric, Deanna, the short answer is no. If you were driving across this bridge just two weeks ago, you wouldn't have seen these two sets of rumble strips meant to slow drivers down. But I actually spoke with neighbors today and they say this temporary solution isn't a solution at all. Drivers coming down Montero Street will hear the difference. This change comes after the city says they've heard the concerns from residents like Marilyn Joyner, whose front porch was hit three times, first 20 years ago and twice in the past eight months. Montero Street is just like a speedway. Despite new rumble strips and repainting the lanes, neighbors say this temporary fix doesn't address a bigger problem, safety. It's really, like I said, it's a Band-Aid. It's something to try to keep us quiet. I've been quiet for 20 years, and this has really, really upset me so bad, has mentally and emotionally impacted my health. Now Marilyn and her neighbors are joining together to ask the city to see the unsafe conditions for themselves. With the hopes that what they would consider to be a real solution can be found. Sit out here. Come out here in the middle of the night and see what's going on. How do these people come across this bridge? What she wants to see are traffic signals, guardrails, and signs that say slippery when wet. Joyner believes with these safety measures in place, she can finally feel safe in her own front yard. So if the city is listening, I hope they hear me, and I hope that they can go ahead and try to remedy this and stop putting band-aids on it. And as of tonight, there is no word on when a permanent solution will come. Live in Richmond, Roland Wilson, 8 News.